Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY Channel. In today's video, just a quick update about the channel. Check out the video. Well, straight away, I hope you've noticed a bit of a change in the voice recording department. Two things. Um, I've got a new mic just over here, as you can see. Uh, before I had a, um, a mic that was attached to the camera at the back, so the sound was, you know, depending on how far I was from the camera, that's the quality it had. Now I'm hoping with this little bad boy it will be a lot better, regardless of where I'm currently standing. The minus of that, I'm connected to the camera with this <laughs> six meter cable, but hey, um, I'm hoping it's going to work fine and the quality of the voice of the recording will be spot on. Now, another thing that I hope you notice, the echo has reduced a little bit. I wasn't actually expecting this and how did it happen? Well, very simple, I'll show you now. So, uh, as you know, I still got two rooms to paint over there and to do that, I need to get all this stuff out of those two rooms and put it in this one. But I didn't want to create a, another mess in here. So I've bought two shelving uh, racks. Uh, both are rated at 100 kilograms on each level. So fairly sturdy. And obviously they were on offer, so they haven't been too expensive either. So I'm quite pleased with those. As you can see, it's absolutely stacked top to bottom this one as well it's absolutely full to the brim but hey that's what they're here for and as the end result on top of obviously the storing solution they reduce the noise the echo in this workshop so spot on happy days obviously this is not a permanent fixture here these two units will actually go to my resin room, which will be the one next door. And I will build my own cabinets for this workshop. And also I have utilized my wood rack to hang my clamps somewhere. But obviously in the future, I will make a rack for all those clamps somewhere in a nice accessible way. And um, so yeah, watch this space. That video will come eventually one day. I do have few jobs around the garage, for example, this window where you can see the uh, bare brick and I have decided I'm going to uh, plasterboard it all around so it's nice and even. As at this moment, it really does my head in. <laughs> I can't look at that, my OCD is kicking in. Um, so that will be sorted, but because I am not a definitely by far a plasterer and I hate this job, that video will not happen on my YouTube channel. But saying that, I will record this just for fun and that video will go on my Patreon account. I know the times are tough and everybody's struggling financially and all that. And I'm ever so grateful for the patrons that support me at the minute. And a few videos like that, for example, this window, and I've got another bit that I need to plaster. Guys, if you want to see them, I'm gonna drop a few notifications on my social media to let you know that these videos are happening. They're there to, for you to view. And as I said, they will be on Patreon for free. So you will be able to see them. Not all the videos will be like that. Some of them will be for my patrons that actually decide to support me. But um, I know the times are tough and, you know, I'm not expecting everybody to go and chuck money at me on my channel. Uh, so, yeah, if, uh, if you want to view it, these particular videos around the workshop, they will be for free. You can just go and view them as I don't think they will be actually suitable for my YouTube channel where I, <laughs> that's one of the jobs I really hate doing. So it could be a fun video to watch. I recently actually seen a post on Keith Brown's um, social media with regards Patreon as, you know, not many people want to do that and that's absolutely fine. But uh, it's just for us a mean to get some sort of funds to keep the lights in um, in our workshops and so we can actually keep on doing what we are and give you the free content here on YouTube. And there will be more and more videos coming to my Patreon. As I mentioned before, some of them will require you to actually subscribe to my Patreon account. 
but I don't want you to feel uh, pressured. And Keith came up with a very decent idea and I think I will go with that as well, where if you can't afford it and you know, you still want to watch it, drop me an email and I'll send you a link to it. I think that's that's a, a fair solution to this really. I don't want to penalize anybody for you know not having money. It's just not right. If you can support my channel, fantastic. Head on to my Patreon and there will be um, some videos coming there just for Patreon. But if you can't afford it, um, drop me an email and I'll send you the links to the videos that will be coming in the future. I'm also getting tons of messages about the zero clearance plates for, um, for the Rage 5. Guys, <laughs> they will come on my Etsy for sale eventually. I'm just trying to calculate if it's worth making them now for you mainly. I want to give you the best price possible for them but uh, obviously I cannot sell it without any margin of profit uh, as it does take time to make. And the biggest problem for me now is finding the material. So uh, getting the plywood at a reasonable price because there's no point of me selling them for 30 quid. You know, it's not a good price for you guys and it's absolutely pointless. On top of that, I need to calculate <laughs> well, the postage cost from Poland to the UK or any other European country where that is actually a lot more expensive now. So I'm actually in the works of trying to source a, a good parcel company where, well, you would actually get your um, required product on more or less on time um, as the prices, the quotes I'm getting at the minute are fairly horrendous. So that's, that's what the main delay is, trying to get a decent price on the material and uh, the plywood for you and obviously uh, the courier to get it to you in a reasonable time. A couple of future videos that are coming up. Um, the pressure washer that I've bought that will finally come hopefully next week or the week after. So you'll see what I actually bought. And a couple of upgrades to the Rage 5 um, table saw. One of them is a slow start module that I want to install in this saw as most of you know that have got this saw that when it starts, <laughs> It's not a pleasant uh, sound and it's not a pleasant experience where it just starts like a jumbo jet straight away. And sometimes it's just bloody scary to listen to this monster. So I'm actually um, planning to install a slow start module on this saw. So that's a video to come in the next few weeks. And on top of it, I actually had quite a few comments from you guys. Um, on videos when I was dealing with this saw to make a router table attachment to it. And I've seen a few guys already done that um, and they seem to work just fine. So I probably am gonna have my go at it to see what I can uh, do here and let you know if it's worth making or not. At the minute, I actually don't have a router table and for my few upcoming uh, projects, I'm actually gonna need one. I'm gonna need one to make the zero clearance plates. <laughs> so I definitely need to make something. So yeah, that's one of the projects that will come again in the next, probably in the next month, the uh, router table attachment for this saw. And at this point, I would like to ask you what type of videos you would like to see on my channel, what type of projects, um, obviously, I will be able to accommodate some of them, but not all due to the, well, sometimes just resources and time. But I will try my best. I'm still planning the um, insulation of the garage doors. That is still to come. Uh, in the end, I think I more or less have got an idea of what I want to do. It doesn't mean it's going to work, but <laughs> we shall see. I've actually tested the noise levels that are coming out of um, the garage, not scientifically, just basically turning on the loudest machine I've got and walking around. And I have to say, uh, where the wall is on that side, there's virtually no noise or just humming. Uh, where the window is a little bit louder, but it's not too bad at all. 
but I will have to insulate that as well in a way just to make sure there is nothing at all and plus being ready for the winter times when it will get really cold in here. But when I actually went around the garage to the garage doors, the noise was really, really bad. So that is the only area that is producing the worst noise. Plus being from the side where the road is, the noise is coming back in. So that will be sorted hopefully in the next two weeks. I have ordered some materials for that. So we'll see how that's going to work. I'm actually going to do a bit of a more scientific approach because I do have a finger device that can measure a <laughs> sound level. So uh, we'll see what difference that will make. So yes, um, going back to the shelving units, I'm quite happy for them. I've paid about, I think, 12 British pounds for each one of them, so not too bad at all. And later on, they will go in the resin room, so no waste there. Obviously, you know, it's organized chaos after the first use. It probably won't look like that, but uh, hey, that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you on my next video. Take care.